Credit rating agencies, in other saying, financial assassins of the modern world. Pardon, pardon me, financial assessors. You may hear on the television or in the newspapers, credit rating agency Fitch downgraded Turkey's rating or Standard & Poor's upgraded Turkey's rating. Does it sound familiar? That's exactly what I'm talking about. What are these credit rating agencies? Why do we care so much about the reports? In this video, we will discuss credit rating agencies. Now, if you have any, slowly put aside all your prejudices and misinformation and discover the truth with me. Simply what they do is measuring the payment ability of an economy or a company. These guys use letters to describe the levels. And these letters show us the risk of borrowing or investment of the relevant company or country. There are many levels from AAA to D. So who are they? There are three companies with the highest reputation in the international market. Standard & Poor's, Moody's and Fitch. The ratings given by these three are the main determinant of the capital flows. Now, let me explain what the rating is, what kind of results it has. As we said earlier, these guys measure how reliable a country's economy is in terms of capital. And in this measurement, they use a series of letters from A to D. If the degree of a country increases, capital starts to flow to the economy. So, do these rating agencies really measure the strength of an economy or do they decide which economy will be strong? The past years have shown that the reputation of credit rating agencies has been falling. You can't imagine how bad their track record is. Moreover, bankrupt businesses were rated high just before they collapsed proves that this suspicion is not unfounded. Dotcom bubble, Enron and Parmalat scandal, Lehman Brothers bankruptcy, and many more. Similarly, the inability of rating agencies to predict country crisis brings along various debates about the reliability of ratings. Mexican peso crisis, Asian financial crisis, US mortgage crisis. Just the only three of them. These are the cases that the rating agencies could not or did not foresee. There are two main reasons why rating agencies are considered with suspicion. First, the non-transparent nature of credit rating processes. The second is they have no legal responsibility for the rates they have announced. That means credit rating agencies will not face any sanctions for their wrong decisions. Let me tell you about the 2008 global financial crisis. You know the mortgage credit system? Housing loan given by the mortgage-backed banks. The USA is the world's number one in the mortgage loan market. Why? Because banks used to give housing loans to anyone. Even a minimum wage earner could get three or four housing loans at the same time. Now, you may ask how come the minimum wage worker can get three or four loans at the same time? It works like this. The minimum wage worker lives in one of these houses and he rents out the other three or four. That's it. Thus, with a size of $197 trillion, the US became the largest market in the world. Anyway, this market exploded in 2008. It exploded so much that the whole world went into a financial crisis that would last four years. So, how did it explode? Lending banks and investment instruments of these banks by these rating agencies were top rated regardless of their risk. 97 of the loans were given A-level rating by the rating agencies. When they got a high credit rating, state investment funds transferred all the money to them until the tenants of the minimum wage worker failed to pay the rent. What happened next? The whole system went off with a bank. Have you ever refused to rate any of these bonds upper tranches AAA? 
Can we see the paperwork on those kids? Oh, I'm under no obligation to share that information with you, Just whoever you might be. Just answer the question, Georgia. Can you name one time in the past year where you checked the tape and you didn't give the banks the AAA percentage they wanted? If we don't give them the ratings, they'll go to Moody's, right down the block. If we don't work with them, they will go to our competitors. Not our fault, simply the way the world works. After the financial crisis, some regulations were brought to the market. The largest three rating agencies, Standard & Poor's, Fitch & Moody's, were penalized for raising hedge funds ratings, where they should have supposed to lower. But the penalties are unfortunately not deterrent, even small enough to count as operational loss. For this reason, considering the billion scale capital structure, it is obvious to see that the penalties didn't stop the agencies. And still, the largest three credit rating agencies continue to their consistent rating activities. It seems to me that there was a climate, there was a climate there of mediocrity. Because when we go on, we, we, uh, we, we realize that there were other people saying the same thing in your organization. Now, although you may not think it reflected the, the culture, I think it reflected the culture, and my constituents think it reflected the culture. You made a nice statement about the organization being around since 1909, but I wonder whether the folks who started your organization in 1909 would be happy with what they see today, because there is, without a doubt, there has been a loss of trust. And somebody's got to recover that. You've got to get that trust back. We can never get these markets back get them back right unless the investors feel comfortable about what is going on and you are the gatekeepers you're the guys you're the ones that make all the money you're there that's why you're there and so we are now we face a situation where we've got a house of cards that have has fallen and here we are trying to resurrect it something is wrong with this picture and i read the testimony I understand all the things that you say you're going to do, but you know what the problem is? Once you lose trust, nobody believes you're going to do it. As a result, the reputation and credibility of these guys have been severely damaged. False reports, deceptive ratings, false reports, deceptive ratings, and court decisions against them. Of course, credit rating agencies are key institutions in determining the route of capital flow. Someone needs to assess a country's or company's value to understand whether it is white or black. Regardless, there must inevitably be someone to assess the market risks. Honest, transparent, and brave.